my fellow viewers, this is Mr. Pokemon 07, and welcome to my Pokemon Soul Silver version let's play. Okay, so yeah, um, the previous episode I kind of did, um, what's this? Oh, okay, sorry about that, guys. The previous episode, we beat clear, and that was the eighth gym badge, guys. Yes, eighth gym badge, yes, already. So, um, if you know, like, you know, bought up on this episode and you want to check out my previous ones, well, um, the links will be in the top left right there. Um, if you don't see the top right having an episode you see coming soon, obviously it's not theirs yet. But, um, we beat clear in the previous episode, and this episode is just, you know, me going into the dragon's den. That's the next place we do have to go. This cave, just showing you right now, this cave has no importance, guys. So we just run from there and see speed up things. Come on, man. Come on. Run. Run like the wind. Okay. So, um, we did beat her, but apparently she hasn't given us, um, the gym badges yet. I will even show you. For you guys who, like, watched my previous episode, me kicking her ass and everything. Alright, so dragging this down to the bottom screen right here. Um, uh, kind of make it known to you guys. She doesn't even give you the damn badge. First time I played this, I was like, what the heck, clear? Seriously? So, dragging my stuff down here, I'll come to Shamar right here. And then, oh, it's top screen. Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. It's not even the bottom screen, it's top screen. So, right here, if you can see this. Um, see all the gym badges and stuff, but what the heck, clear, she hasn't given us hers as yet. So, um, I do think that my screen is, like, perfected by now. A bit more. Sorry about that, guys, I could have paused my recording. Usually fast fits for those bitches, yeah. See if we get inside Dragon's Den, see what the sign says. Dragon's Den ahead. If clear allows it. Her grandfather, our master, will also. You may enter. Usually he blocks the way, but you finally gain access. Oh snap! So damn awesome. So all this really is is like getting your your um, Pokemon leveled up a whole lot more because they're like um, these trainers in here. Yeah, I want my Poliwag to be a Dragon Buster. So, yeah, I'll issue this first battle and then I'll skip all the rest. You, how dare you enter uninvited? Uninvited? Are you sure, son? I'm a boss. If you haven't known, I've defeated your damn queen, Clear. Alright, so he sends a level 37 dragon here. Whole week, man. One ice beam and this thing should be done. Come on. Oh, what? Oh, oh, that was a lucky one by me. Rosen, bitch. <laughs> nice. So, Dragonair is frozen. I only have one more hit. And damn, that was so damn easy, right, guys? Damn. That was just so damn easy right there. So, Poliwag gains experience. And oh gosh, something special is going to happen after this battle. Something special. S strong. Yeah, stutter, bitch, because you can do nothing more but stutter. What? Poliwag is evolving. I really love this animation. It isn't much different from Diamond Pearl Platinum. Um, Platinum's, like, evolution animation, but... It's something about Heart Gold so Silver is, like, art texture that kind of grabbed me when I first played it. Congratulations, your Poliwag evolved into Poliworld. I don't know if it was like the surroundings or something and being that it was, you know, a remake of gold and silver that had me all freaking out and like, oh god, and so, but yeah, first playing this game, it was like, whoa. So now we've got Polyworld! <laughs> a water world, a water world. Let me see, alright, you sir. Um, if I tend to be like wasting time, guys, well, Technically, yeah, I am trying to make my vid, you know, like, give it a bit more, um, 
give it a bit more content because usually my vids are really short if I'm like not even battling the, the gym leader so just uh, you know fill this in a bit more yeah talk a whole lot and go all over the place and battles okay so I'm gonna battle these two right here and this girl so I'm gonna pause my recording right now guys I know you wanna see this shit but this bit is gonna get and you know what you know what I'll battle them and show you guys. Come on. Why shouldn't I? You shouldn't be in here. Oh, is that so? If the vid like begins to get like extremely long, then it will like start like to cut like battles and stuff, because it will make sense then. But otherwise you see me right here just battling these. It's damn like video content and I know that's what you guys really want. So it just sounds like RC. Alright, since you're standing there, I'll just run away. Thunder punch in that nigga! Ayy! Bitch! You're going down! What? What? In one hit! Alright, so that was damn easy. Let's see what else she has. Another horsey! See why I skip these trainers, guys? Honestly, I will be pausing this recording, guys. Because I'm actually going to skip these trainers right now. So, um, this time the punch, you can see this dead. And if the next Pokemon is like total oh, crap, another horsey, especially. I'm pausing this recording instantly, guys. So just get ready. Alright. A sea drip. Keep battling. Just show you it. I'm going to kill it. It doesn't make any sense repeating that Thunder Punch. You want to see this damn like master of clears and stuff. So pausing this recording guys. I'm going to battle these trainers. Hold on. Okay guys. I'm back. Um, I did defeat these dumbass trainers and all these neglects and niggas. Um, but I did have to go back to my Gyarados. My Gyarados. I was about to say Gyarados. But it didn't come out pretty well. Um, I nicknamed him Kraken. Um, I couldn't, I just could not teach my damn Holy World Whirlpool. Honestly, although World is in its name. This thing knows Hydro Pump, Surf, Mud. Um, if you want to see how Endear looks, as if this game doesn't mess up again, this is how it looks. There are two people here, and there is this master right here. Damn this shit. Damn. Stupid emulator. There's a huge waterfall deep in the cave, like he said. Where Lugia rests. And we, we need the uh, silver ring. We already have them on our bike, so. It's been quite some time since the trainer has gained our master's rear approval. In fact, not since Master Lance. You know, young Master Lance. He looks so much like our master did in his youth. It's Indian blood. Haha, <laughs> loads dragon tamers. Being that they're all deal with dragons and stuff. So let's see, being, see if I can reach serve back out. I'm really pissed about that damn glitch, guys. Honestly, this emulator has me pissed. If I could hold this emulator in my hand, I would smash it in the ground, guys. That's total shit. You chose the wrong thing, man. The wrong, the very wrong thing. I know next time a big event is coming, I want to pause my damn game. Because if a cutscene comes on, I can't skip it. Bait. I'm sorry about this. Here, Tate, this is my apology. Oh, you spoke to me, bitch? Telling me all oh, shit that you. What? Alright, Dragon Pulse. Nice. That's a really nice move, guys. Honestly, it is. Well, Dragon Pulse is a kind of. Uh, never mind. It's huge energy of some kind. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. What's the matter? If you if you're headed to the Pokemon League, go back to Mubart Town and surf along Route 27. Your face. It's time you have some unfinished business. Come on. Whatever you have to face from now, don't you dare give up. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it your all. Okay. So I guess we do have our um our. I think we do. I know where we have to go, guys. Professor Elm calls us now. Hello, Shima. How's it going? I've gotten hold of something neat. Swing by my lab and pick it up. See you later. Okay, so let's just play there right now. Um, for you guys who maybe, you know, you just got your game from your friend's house or something, and you don't really know, um, 
what to do, where to go from this point. I'll kind of drag my screen down. And so, you know, I just play to some random place and go running around like an idiot. Um, let's see. Looking for the spot that I flew to. Okay, so we actually have to fly here. We are right here where this, you know, his face is. Right here in Blackthorn City. And we want to come right down here to move on. Choose fly. Let's drag this back up. I'm in a hurry. Come on, come on. Yes, I got it back up in time. Okay, so um, now we're back in New Bart Town. This is the actually the town that you start your game with. If you haven't seen my first episode or you haven't played this game either. Shamar, did you did you already collect eight badges? That's so cool. The professor is waiting for you. Hi, Shamar. You never cease to amaze me. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. So we got the Master Ball. I know what this really is for, but I'm not using it for that. I think I will have a separate episode for that. I really do think I should have my episode separated. The Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate Pokeball. It'll catch any Pokemon folk fail. It's given all these noted Pokemon researchers. I think you can make much better use of it than I can, Shimmer. By the way, we just had a group of beautiful Camino girls looking for you. Shamar, people are talking about you. I heard you help Camino girls. You've been helping all these people. You made me proud to be your friend. Okay. The Camino girls are waiting for you at a pretty at dance theater. Okay, so that's in another city, guys. Okay, guys. I can't remember the last time I actually did this. Um, I actually was going to cut off the episode. Seeing how short it was, I actually split my episode in two parts. So this whole episode you're seeing is, was literally by plan two episodes for me. So um, we did check out the dragons then. And what's not. And Professor Elm just spoke to us about some Camino girls in the Akrudiak City um, theater. So dragging my screen down again. Um, we happen to be in New Bart Town, and that's where we meet, um, Professor Elm, and so forth and so on. We're supposed to come all the way, is that, no, no, a Kruyak, where is a Kruyak again? I kind of forgot, oh, right here. So we're supposed to come all the way from here, follow this little red square, follow this square. We're supposed to come from here, and then come all the way here, so let's just fly here. Drag my screen back up as fast as I could. I think I got it. Yes, yeah, perfectly done. Positioning of the screen, that is. So, um, this is the theater he spoke of. Um, a pretty at dance theater. Let's see. Okay, so we got up on red. How? How is this possible? How can I lose the more Camino girls? You were watching me, Shamar. Yeah, that's right. I never thought defeating five Camino girls would be so hard. I got beat into a pulp. You must have come here for the same reason, right? Don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. These Camino girls are insanely strong. Go ahead and see if you can defeat them. But I'm not going back. I don't want to go. I don't want to see you win. Oh. Uh... I make you feel like shit, don't you? <laughs> Lols. Let's see. At least it doesn't glitch out this time. Being what happened like a few minutes ago. Welcome, my name is Zuki. I met you previously in Violet City. In order to bring back Lugia, we needed someone with the right bond with Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give this mystery egg to whoever showed true potential. The egg was eventually handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor L, and then to you. However, being pure alone will not be sufficient to face the power of this Pokemon. I will, I must test you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I will test how closely you've bonded with your Pokemon. So, there, therefore we do have to battle these trainers, all of them I suppose. So she has Umbreon, nice. Nice pick. Um, 
do we even have a Pokemon with a fighting move right now? Because Dark types are weak to fighting moves. The only move. Oh, I do have an idea. Not only are fighting moves super effective to Dark types, like this Umbreon here we happen to be fighting, but bug moves also. And my Ampharos happens to know a bug move called Signal Beam, so I should be okay. I should be okay. In your face, nigga! Let's see how this goes. He should be dead in one. Whoa! I wasn't expecting survival. Honestly, I'm a full seven level sir. This is total shit. Come on, I'm Frost. At least hit him this time. Don't hurt yourself, please. Don't hurt yourself, please. Yes. During confusion, Pokemon hurt yourself and feel to use moves sometimes. So nicely done, Amphrox. My Kraken, which is my Gyarados, actually got experience. I don't have any Pokemon left. And then his units. This is kind of boring for me <laughs> playing this Pokemon game so much times already. You're quite strong. You helped me in the Alex Forest. My name is Naoko. Naoko. I'm the one that's not so good at directions. My eyes witness you defeating Team Rocket when Kurt was in trouble. Team Rocket wait, at the Slowport well. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Okay. So her name is Naoko. Ah, interesting name. And she happens to have a level 38 Espeon as a psychic type though, so dark moves. Do rule this one. I think also bug moves. I'm not pretty sure. Yeah, bug moves as well. Since this is at least a level 30, I'm just testing to see how far forward this is. My cracking. Alright, come on, don't they, please? Uh. Like a boss. Barely did anything, plus my help is being ripped away, so it's total sense to just switch this up. Take my chance at using that signal beam once more. Please. Okay. Um, like I said, uh, I said in like a few minutes ago, at least two, three minutes, that at least a minute that um, you know, this isn't fun for me. That sort of me. Well, honestly, I have played this game a whole lot, and I'm not enjoying this as much as I should be. But you know, this is a YouTube channel. I started games for you guys, and I can't just like stop this and leave you over the dust. Honestly. I think I did that with at least one let's play I had is like The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I've got a whole lot of reason why I haven't finished that as yet, but yeah, I don't have like recording software or anything for it, so it'll look really nasty if not apart from Twitter. They don't really like giving people bad quality. They will just give you reason to hate me. You're quite the trainer. I remember you chasing off that Team Rocket and Brent from right, from right here. I must thank you for that. Although I am actually a trainer myself, she who knows the most speaks the least. I am Miki, the Camino girl. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Okay, so after her is one more at least, and I think we're like close enough to that damn Lugia. So level 38, clearly on. Then again, I do believe that this is like, um, I do believe that this is like a level, oh gosh, no, it's dead. I was kind of like playing my cat just now when I kind of tapped the A button and missed it. It was a mistake, guys. I hardly ever faint in battles, especially during let's plays like this. So, gosh. I find I'm getting a whole lot of bad luck, because before, um, while I was in the Dragon's Den, um, I had to cut off a whole lot of footage because of this damn like, glitch that the emulator has sometimes. Where everything just like, all the pictures and stuff glitch up and look so damn messed up. And you just couldn't keep it in my vid man, it's, it's not cool at all. And I lost a whole lot of like, um, dialogue, like speech and stuff for this game because of it. Ah, but oh well, everything's for a reason, alright guys? I had to cut it off, so the reason this episode is so damn long currently. Oh, you're good at Pokemon too. Nice. 
I am, of course I am. She has, we have one more to battle me and I think I'm over. Excellent spirit, fighting spirit. You got me off the ice by pushing me from the back. I am the one who skates in sandals. I am Sayo, the Kamino girl. I was listening in the dragon's den when you passed the test of the elder. Allow me to challenge you and you spied on me, bitch! This bitch spied on me! Yeah, she wants to challenge our Pokemon now. Huh? I don't like you. I really don't. You're dangerous. She's dangerous and so fast. <laughs> You better watch out, you take it down. She's a go, digger. She's a go. Let's see, just switch this. <laughs> Enough singing. Let's see. I don't. I happen not to have like a good enough like Pokemon with a ground move. The only Pokemon I have with a ground move that is like super effective for this Jodeon is my. Is my world is my um my poly world and that poly world is a water type. Electric types are super effective to water types and it would be a dumbass choice to just switch up my poly world right now. So I'm actually putting myself in a whole lot of danger fighting her. You know, not danger because that electricity can't really damage my my um cyclosion as it should, but. Look at this, I'm being paralyzed and crap. I should be all with this already. Uh, like a boss. Leave, bitch. Yeah. Oh, so close, I almost had you. You're not getting me. <laughs> Goofy reference. Oh gosh, you want more? I'm the last one. They were so dependable at the Golden Rock Tunnel. I'm the one who twirls even on the ground. I am Coney the Camino girl. I looked at you in wonder when you thwarted Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show your strength to me now. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Okay. Huh. So this is a water type, and like electric types have a huge advantage on these, so yeah. Oh god, no! I forgot I haven't healed it, damn! No! Oh god, so this is a whole waste of time right now. Or I could just try training my Togetic and make this a whole lot more like interesting as an episode. Oh damn! My, this... Ah, this Togetic has a fighting move, and I could have just used this on that Umbreon, so... Damn it! Damn it! Let's see here. Use Drain Punch, so much health I can regain. Barely anything, damn! I feel like pausing this recording, but... You know these, like, important trainers and, like, pausing this recording and stuff? It doesn't really make much sense right now. Use my max revive on my um on my Ampros. Damn, that was pretty annoying having that faded. Okay, so one more sir. This could be dead. Oh I'm wrong, nice. And then switch out my Ampros. Come on Ampros, kick some ass man, come on. I know you could do it. I know you could do it. Give me some shitty ass quick attack. Thunder punch. Like a boss. I leave the scenes, nigga. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so he's down in one hit. Practically two hits, but whatever. Nice. Oh, you are wonderful. Of course. I'm more than wonderful. I'm awesome. We were not wrong about you, you are indeed worthy of this. Please take it. So they give us the title bell, okay. Oh snap. Big sisters, I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon in the World Islands waters. It could it be? Shamar, we'll be at World Islands, at the World Islands, see you there. 
Okay, so um, I'm actually pausing this recording now. Let me get outside because mother is calling. So yeah, I'm gonna pause this recording, go heal my Pokemon, and then we're gonna go from Lugia. So just hold a bit, guys. Okay, guys, back. I just healed my Pokemon and stuff. Simple stuff. Okay, so um, in my Pokemon party right now, choose Fly. And apparently we are here at a pretty at city. And yeah. Where we need to go right now. Kind of trying to get this set up right here. You see where the red stuff is right here? We're in Kriat City. And they said that we need to go to the World Islands. The World Islands appears to be right here. Off of Seanwood City. So let's just play the scene where there's the closest point. And Dragon is back up. Yes, that's it. Yeah, guys. This is to signal myself while I'm video editing. I actually, like, went recording this. Thinking that I found the path to Lugia about three, four times, guys. Missing the right spot. So I just, like, it's about 18 minutes of footage I just have to cut out of this shit, guys. Honestly, that's a whole lot, right? I'm pretty annoyed, but I actually f did find a spot. So, you know, this video is, this is going to be the only spot you guys see, but I had about four in mind. Honestly, it was so damn off chart, because I haven't played this game in ages, and this is like over like five caves or more, I believe, around four or five, that actually are linked to each other in some form or fashion, and all of them, all of them are linked together, and they form some connection or link, at least, to the cave that Lugia is in, so... Me just running around and randomly looking for these, so you so you see this the exact spot from seeing which city that I actually serve from. So just follow my path, guys. I do think I have it in mind now where we have to go. So here we go. All right, these caves are extremely dark, actually. So I just run down this spot and run down here, come up this way and follow this ladder, and then we come down this way. I would hate to know that I mess up myself this time because this cave is so damn complex that you made the wrong move at all. You have no way of getting back, guys. Oh gosh. These damn max repels. Honestly annoying. So yeah. Oh my god. Come on. I think I think this is the path right here. Oh god, no it isn't. This is not the path. I don't remember jumping down. So we come this way. And then yes, got him! Yes. That thing you have. Oh, there's the silver wing. You have found it. Please go ahead. So now after this, I believe there's two caves. There's this one. I think you get items and shit. And then there's down this path here. Uh-huh. I think this is the... I think this is the one you go and get items and shit. Oh, that was pretty wrong. So let's go up. There's actually the path to Lugia right there, but let's go up this way, head up this way. <laughs> My gosh, I've got like 23 minutes on this recording right here, and I'm sure it's going to be far from 23 minutes. Right, this item right here is a rare candy. And you actually get to see the full view, guys. Oh my god, it looks so damn cool. The cave, the waterfall that Lugia comes out of. You'll see pretty soon. I just had a sprite glitch again where this game, like, it messes up the, um... Like the graphics and the characters and stuff. It's pretty annoying, guys. Let's just head in here. Yes, it doesn't glitch. That's right. This is where we welcome Lugia. When the dance we practice many days becomes one with the sound of the title bell we entrusted with you, then Lugia shall come out from deep within the waterfall basin once again. Oh, snap. Oh gosh, I can't believe I'm here already. Seriously. This game has gone past so damn fast. So if I turn up my audio. Let's listen to that bass. And their dance, their special ancient dance, just begins to activate these title bells one by one. So there's two right now. It's flashing. Oh my gosh. 
So this is some ancient dance that these girls maybe learned and they were looking for the special trainer who would actually be able to, you know, call Lugia. So we're the, we're that special one apparently. Oh gosh. Oh my god. Holy crap. Here he comes. Yeah. Then he just gently flaps his way down. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so damn awesome catching this. I do hope I catch it in good time. Yeah. So she steps forward and she says, That is indeed Lugia, the guardian of these islands from um, our certain islands. From ancient times. So many have tried again and again will only to fail. Shamar. Your heart in complete harmony of the title bell has finally allowed it to appear. Shamar, don't you see? Lugia, it must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Exactly what I said, guys. Wouldn't you agree? So, if you're some cheating ass and you somehow got these items of hope, you know, gaining sir, you still have to stir to get to Lugia. Trust me, guys, this is going to be really, really confusing. So, I'm going to save this game right here. Uh-huh, this is something that you must make sure that you do when you're, like, you know, catching any legend. Especially Lugia, guys, because if he dies or fades, he won't be coming back. Honestly, he would not come back, ever. I don't think he ever does. Alright, so save the game. And let's head on with this. Kind of put my... My arm across to the front of the party. He's the most effective Pokemon right now. Let's go. Turn my audio back down a bit. That's it. Yeah, look here! Finally, guys, I've actually we've beaten all eight gym badges, and now we're in Lugia's face. Come on, this is awesome! All right, so it uses Hydro Pump. First move out. Same exact level as me, so that might do a whole lot of damage. It doesn't. And let's counter the shit with a damn Thunder Punch, guys. It's paralyzed, and its health is going to be really low, apparently. So let's see, let's see. Come on. Come on, don't die, Lugia. Whoa, Lugia is really strong. Extra Sensory, nice. So, um, if this doesn't catch, as the usual for me, like every single legend I happen to catch in my, you know, let's plays. I would pause the recording and kind of play it back when I've already caught it. You know, like, it right there in the Pokeball. Show you the Pokedex stuff and that sort of shit. So, healing my Earth Ross. My gosh, I do hope I catch this on screen, honestly, because if it, like, you know, my recording time goes B too far, I'll have to cut it off. I'll have to. Right, damn. Arrow Blast. This is a really strong move, guys. Don't get it wrong. Being that it didn't do much on this Pokemon because it's an electric type, so. Oh, snap! Stop right there. Oh, he timed everything so perfectly. Then he uses Arrow Blast again. Alright, come on, man. You're being caught, bitch. Alright, don't die, please. Thank you. And let's see, what Pokeball should I use? How about Premier? Lugia looks really damn cool in the Premier Ball anyway. Come on, come on. Oh snap. Nope. No catching. And then I have another idea for Pokeball. I not really not really worrying if this thing fades. Alright, just switch Pokemon. Come on, come on. Who's next? Pokemon, how about Polyworld? You know, this thing is a water type and that hydro pump would barely do any damage at all. I already have the game's health low already. So, Pokeballs, let's see if I could use my... Oh gosh, where is it? Ah, here you go. My dive ball. Because, you know, this is a water type and it does suit it being in a dive ball. One, two, three. Yes! Oh my god, use a dive ball on your Lugia, guys. It works. I have proof right here. It works a whole lot. Alright. 
So the Pokedex entry says it is said to be the Guardian of the Seas. It is rumored to have been seen on the night of a storm. Okay, given the name to the cult Lugia, how about... How about... Uh... Tycoon. Yeah, so name this Tycoon, because I think there's something connected to, like, you know, like, um... Uh... What do you call them now? Those whirlpools you find in, like, waters and stuff, you call them Tycoon. So I'll just call this Tycoon. Nice name. Tycoon is transferred to Box 1 and builds PC. Oh my gosh, guys. Awesome shit, man. Awesome. So we got Lugia. Ah, shit. Well, my Pokemon is not following me. Nice. See what she says after you catch it. You've not only made Lugia appear, but you also caught it. You are so wonderful. This is nothing more for us. There's nothing more for us to say. Take good care of yourself and your journey. Okay, nice. So let's see. I just go into my bag and use my escape rope, and I'll fly to my next spot, and then I'll know the episode, like, the spot that I have to, like, follow next. So, being that we have, you know, we are starting our journey now, um, along the, along the road of the Elite Four, which is the League, we'll have to fly back to our, like, you know, beginning tongue, which is New Bark tongue. So, I'll fly back here, guys. Um, I've got links down below. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Maybe make sure you click that like, that like button, comment, and subscribe. Um, stay tuned for more vids, guys. This has been Mr. Pokemon in 07. Signing out.